Hello there, I'm Ben and I'm going to be talking to you today about pancakes, my favourite food. We'll be looking at how to make pancakes, so how to make the pancake batter. Batter is the mix of ingredients that you turn into pancakes. Then we'll be talking about how to make that into pancakes. I've got my pancake pan. Oddly, most cakes are baked in the oven, but pancakes are fried in a pan. It's why they're called pancakes. And we'll just be looking at why people like pancakes, when and where to have them, uh, all sorts of different pancakes around the world. Most of this will be about British pancakes, which are very similar to French crepes, uh, but we'll look a bit at various different kinds. I believe the picture on this slide is probably some American pancakes, but I'm not quite sure. And we will look at Pancake Day in the UK. Every UK in the spring, normally in February or March, people celebrate Pancake Day. So we'll look at why and how, and we'll talk so much about pancakes. You'll either be sick of pancakes or really, really hungry for pancakes. So, why pancakes? It's a good question. It's a question worth asking. First of all, they're delicious. They taste so good. But that's strange because there aren't very many tasty things in the recipe. Pancakes on their own are a little bit boring, a little bit plain. That's why we put things on them. And if you roll them up, put things in them. So a lot of the flavour of pancakes comes from what you put inside. A mushroom pancake and a chocolate and cream pancake are very different things. So actually, I might be cheating when I say they're my favourite food, uh, because they contain so many different things. It's like I have a hundred favourites. So, they're delicious, they're cute and beautiful, that's a phrase I heard from a student two years ago. I thought that's a very good description of pancakes, because they're small, round, and perfectly formed. Um, and they provide a lot of variety. As I say, there are lots of different toppings or fillings you can include in them. There's a slight difference between toppings and fillings. Uh, toppings go on the top. So if you have a flat pancake and you put toppings on it, carrots, bananas, anything like that, and then you cut it up and eat it, those are toppings. Like how a pizza has toppings. But if you put things on the pancake and then you roll it up, um, so like in this picture, it has been rolled up, uh, then they are fillings if they go inside. Uh, filling also has another meaning. Something that is filling makes you very full. So if you eat lots of pancakes, they are filling. You go, oh, I've eaten 20 pancakes. They're very filling, so I shouldn't eat any more. But I will have one more. Um, another reason why pancakes they're a fun breakfast um, and a tasty dessert. You can have them for pudding. They are a festive joy. So you can have them at all different times. They're very good first thing in the morning. If you have guests and you feed them pancakes, they will be very happy. But you can also have them as a dessert or a pudding, as we say in the UK. You eat your main course and then pancakes, just as afters. And I've described them as a festive joy. Festive just means a sort of special feast, special occasion or festival. Like Pancake Day, as I mentioned. We will get to that in time. So pancakes are a festive joy. 
People often describe Christmassy things as festive. The idea is it's just a bit special and exciting, and doing anything with it will make your day better. Um, and one thing I would say, to be careful with pancakes, I think pancakes with friends are great, but personally, I would advise against solo pancakes. Solo just means on your own. I love pancakes, but I never eat pancakes on my own because I think it would be sad. I think, I mean, you can, you're welcome to, but I think they're so fun, they're so festive, that they should always be shared. So I always make sure I have some friends or relatives or enemies come and eat pancakes with me, because I think they're too fun to, uh, to eat on your own. But that's a personal choice. Thankfully, my sister visited this week, so I was able to make some pancakes in a demonstration. So you'll see a few clips of that video as we go on. Different kinds of pancake. There are lots of different kinds. Uh, there are a couple of them pictured here. So one type is the French crêpe. Have fun saying the r in crêpe. Um, and these are a traditional European pancake for sweet fillings. So you might have crêpe with banana, crêpe with uh, coconut and chocolate. It's quite similar to an English pancake, so it's about as big as a plate, and you often roll it up. Then there's the French galette. It's quite similar, but it's made with brown flour, not white flour. And it's normally eaten with savoury fillings. What is savoury? Savoury is just not sweet. So savoury fillings might include meat, mushrooms, cheese, an egg. Uh, all of those are savoury foods. Some people don't like galettes because they want lots of sugar in their pancake. Personally, I think galettes and then crepes for dessert. Great food. Um, then there's the American pancake. These are the pancakes you normally see on TV. They're rather smaller. They're about the right size to put your cup on them so you don't spill anything. So American pancakes are often eaten in a stack, meaning you have pancake, 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 and then you pour maple syrup on and cut a slice of the stack and very tasty. And they are slightly different in the way they're made. We'll look at some of the differences a bit later. And there's also Scotch pancakes. Scotch is just another word for Scottish. Uh, so Scotch pancakes, aka dropped scones, aka means also known as uh, Scotch pancakes or dropped scones are a bit like American pancakes. Uh, you s eat them cold, you just make a few of them and you butter them um, and treat them a bit like bread for sandwiches. Um, and another thing, not really a pancake, but similar to a pancake, omelettes. They're very similar. It's egg, it's maybe a bit of cheese and milk. There's not normally flour in omelettes. That's what makes them different to pancakes. But if you have a low-sided frying pan, very good for pancakes, it's also great for making omelettes. So, those are different kinds of pancake. There are many more. Polish pancakes, including various different vegetables, very tasty. Uh, I know Chinese pancakes are quite different as well. Um, and so there are numerous different kinds. Probably every country has its own special pancakes. Mm -hmm.